I've just finished these Tuscan style, I'm gonna call them Tuscan style vases as part of a challenge today. And I am putting them in my bathroom. And also I just wanna point out my beautiful cat here, Max, who's posing for us. He is so gorgeous, isn't he? So this is a look for less challenge. And the idea is that you pick up some um, old items and try to duplicate some high-end looking style pieces that you might be inspired by. So I have three items to share here. Um, the first are these Tuscan style vases that um, Pottery Barn has and I think they start, it looks like they start at $49. I also, um, I love this Carlotta vase. These, um, these are produced by Ballard Designs, my absolute favorite. I love everything that they have, but they start at $49. And then I found these from Restoration Hardware, which start at $205. And then I guess if you're a member, it looks like you can get them for $153. So whew, pretty spendy. So here are my two items. These are two, two ugly looking vases, I gotta say. Um, so I'm starting to paint them with my Annie Sloan chalk paint, this French linen color. I love this color. It's really, um, really versatile. Obviously, I've used it on a ton. That, that uh, my can of paint there definitely has seen some better days. Um, but I am using a round brush, and I'm going to go in sort of a circular motion here and get in all of those, um, those grooves and indents and just... Uh, coat the vase there. So our host, host hostesses today are Kat from um, According to Kat and Yami from the Latina Next Door. So check out in my description below the link to both of their channels. They do so many DIYs that are extremely creative and um, they are very inspirational. So if you're looking for ideas, visit their channels. So the vase on the left was $3.99. The one on the right was $4.99. And I don't know if anyone else ever has trouble getting off these, getting these these labels off, but I found that a straight straight edge razor blade really does the trick. So I'm just applying my second coat of paint here. And if you like this idea, if you like this project, you want to share more, more ideas, think about subscribing. And so I actually waited about a week or so for that paint to really dry and now I'm going to apply a coat of Annie Sloan clear wax and this um, it kind of looks like Crisco or, or um, lard it looks uh, and actually has the consistency of like you know Crisco you bake with and so you just apply that in a circular motion and I'm just putting that on and then I waited about 30 minutes and then I buffed it off with um, a dry cloth. I just use like pieces of um, of t-shirts that I've cut up because I find that they are lint free. And so I'm just applying the second coat of this, the uh, wax to the second piece here. Oh, and check out the playlist. In my description below, I have a link to the playlist of everyone participating in the challenge. Let's see what everyone else's um, ideas are. And so now my second coat or my second um, paint here, I'm gonna apply Old White, Annie Sloan um, Old White. And so I've just gone over the, the piece, again, like a circular motion, and um, it goes on really quickly. It's such a nice product. And um, and I like the contrast, it's, it's, uh, it's similar to what I've seen in those pictures, those pieces that I was trying to kind of get a similar similar look. And so I did wait about um, 30 minutes or so. That, that um, white was really not dry and I'm just using a damp cloth and taking off a lot of that paint that I applied. I only waited about um, maybe an hour or so. So it was really pretty easy to remove. And so these two pieces, I, I like the design of both of these these um, vases. I think they kind of have an old world or kind of Tuscan looking at own style. I thought, I thought kind of lended itself well. 
to um, to this design. So I think it kind of looks like maybe some old plaster, old old um, cement, or you know that Tuscan look. Um, so now it's time for almost time for uh, the fun fun part for me is to to style these. And so I am going to go outside in my backyard and see what I can come up with. There certainly is not much out there to cut down right now. Oh, and then the, a last little touch here, I just did some dry brush because I wanted it to get a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of that blotchy kind of plaster, old plaster, or old, um, old cement looking um, surface. So uh, I think that that kind of hid some of the brush marks that I didn't really want to appear. And so here they are. So I'm going to fill them with... Um, some branches of white pine that I have outside, which is kind of the only thing that's green. Right now I live in New Jersey, so there's not much to cut down. And then I'm gonna take some branches from my magnolia tree here. I'm just trying to zoom in and show you that there are some um, buds there and also some branches of uh, forsythia. And um, I'm gonna see if they will bloom early for me. I'm gonna give them a lot of water and light and put them in my bathroom there. And, um, and I'll share with a, a picture in another week here, a couple weeks, to see if I, I have some blooms. So thank you all for, for watching. Max and I appreciate you joining us today. And so thank you to our hosts, um, Yami and Kat, for putting together this playlist. And so I will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.